The crowd on the shore here. Rip Curl WSL Finals. Brazilian flag supporting the defending world champ Felipe Toledo as he is coming up against Ethan Ewing in this heat one of the best of three title match. Here we go, open priority is gonna be Felipe Toledo with a quick start. On his forehand. Sharp first turn there, and that's the speed of Toledo. Nice rail work for the second turn. Eases through a cut back into the white water there. Eyeing up this section at the end. Tapered wave, but we know how he can bring the spark, and there's a spark that we expect from Felipe Toledo. Stomps the finish. Nice start for Toledo, Pete. You listen to the hint. Hey, that's what we want to see. Replay, Rich. Yeah, the replay, just that first stab, just really aggressive. Just setting his intentions. Nice flowing cutback just to reposition himself. Series of smooth arcs all the way through to the inside. And then uh, you knew Felipe was just going to go, OK, I'm going to start rotating. I'm going to take the air. Gets the smooth uh, air rev. And uh, just not even a, a moment where you thought he wasn't going to make it. But this opening manoeuvre there, super critical. Just well, the whole tail of the board comes free, but does it with so much control. You know, he just, it or never really looks like he's, he's going to fall off. So, uh, you know, a great opening ride for Felipe, and he's setting the tone. Yeah, well, do you think that this wave, potential five, right, compared to what we've seen out there? I mean, this was a, a mid-sized wave. That would look like a five to me, but he probably surfed it up to almost a seven. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're going to have to leave some space, aren't they? Because I would think, you know, especially with what we've seen both from both these guys. Well, not Felipe specifically, but what he has the potential to do. I mean, look at that. That's a flared out air reverse. I mean, small section, no worries. Made it super clean. I mean, all of the th elements that you have to have in an aerial to pull off, he just did that. Yeah. Ethan Ewing off the bottom. Again, rail control through the entirety of the car. Aggressive snap there, a little punch on the end for Ewing. Snaps there quickly, matching Felipe Toledo's speed so far. Re-entry for the finish. So we'll see what the difference is when we look at the scores. Sharp rail work by both surfers. Felipe had the air at the end, Rich. And a more traditional approach by Ethan Ewing for his finish. Yeah, I would agree. You know, and I think that, uh, again, when you look about our criteria, right, the elements of the criteria stay throughout the entire, every event we have on tour. Uh, you know, when you look at this style, that's the speed powerful, the combination of major maneuvers. He did that, whereas Felipe had the major maneuver, had to cut back, cut back, cut back, and finish with a big major maneuver. Whereas we saw those three turns right there connected in one string, bottom to top, bottom to top. Look at his compression out of his bottom turn and the torque he has on the top. He just gets himself laid out almost horizontally across the lip and extends and goes up and through it, keeps the speed so well. See how he just does a slight little fade here and then just lays into this one. And again, carving through the lip is just so special that he brings the little tweak you had mentioned, he brought that as a little extra element and then straight into another turn, you know, and carrying the speed so well because every turn is major. And uh, again, feels like this could be slightly under the seven, but ultimately it matched it in this exchange in my eyes. Every turn's major, and again, a reminder, Ethan has a broken back. Right? <laughs> Felipe Toledo, wave number two in this title match. Razor sharp on the first carve. Don't pump off the bottom, throws it out there, stomps it into the flats, stands up. Right on the back wheel, quickly, Rich. Talk us through this replay. Wow, this first opening carve to, like, I mean, it's just sizzling, you know. He's just turbo boost through that. And then just throws the giant air reverse, full rotation. And uh, whenever you see Felipe stand tall like that, you know he's absolutely stoked in it. But this opening carve, look at the extension of the upper body. Gets the wings right out. Uh, that up, you know, the upper body just leading the, the lower body gets centered again, pumping down the line, hits the lip absolutely perfectly, already starting the rotation as he launches. And uh, yeah, well, it was just about a 360 degree rotation. It was probably about 340, but uh, incredible maneuvers. Yeah, and standing proud for the finish, Felipe Tale. Ewing behind him, Ewing behind him oh, with a fierce first carve, comes around this corner. Layback, power, hack, and what? How is this exchange once again, Peter Miller? Oh, giggling. I am. I'm living. How can you not enjoy this? I mean, literally, that's what we are here for. And these two are going head to head, <laughs> battling it out, and that was awesome. Ethan Ewing on the rail. How cooking is the waves? It just has smoothed out, it's just butter, and these guys are going below. 
ballistic. That was a beautiful two-turn combo. I mean, there was progression in that style of move for Ethan Ewing, especially at the closeout where he picks that. As we see, this is the judge's angle here, but look at this underneath turn. Ah, just, to, you know, again, giggles coming flying out of me. How could you not? Finn's skipping out on that first turn. So powerful from Ethan Ewing. So we're waiting for how this exchange turns out. We get to analyze this now, Rich, oh, in slow motion. Just, uh, you know, it gets those fins free. Just gets all that release at uh, the, the fourth quarter of the turn. And again, this is the one where he goes to the layback hack, just jamming it around that pivot point. The tail of the board's pointing towards the beach at that stage. And then he somehow just wrangles it ar around back under his feet again. Uh, look, the only, okay, now let's put a critical uh, eye on this. It's title match, heat number one between Felipe Toledo, Ethan Ewing. Here we go with Toledo. Winds up off the bottom. On fire on the rail, on fire in the air. Toledo one more time and incomplete. That's not going to change the situation. I'm Kuiper Girl with, along with Peter Mel, Ethan Ewing, and Felipe Toledo. Yeah, like healthy heat scores, 16 points. 15 8 3 so not a lot in it but uh you know these lads are just laying down some huge numbers and uh really pushing each other which is great to see rich talk to me about endurance and fatigue uh because this was uh ethan surfed 13 waves right this is only felipe toledo's fourth wave ridden with toledo again lots of control on the rail of the sharp eye throws it up puts it down spins it around and he's got more Skips that section, but power, full slash. A little bigger wave here for Felipe. Yeah, Ethan's wave held its height the whole way down, so projection, maneuver to start things off, a big opening car back into the power pocket for Felipe. Now he gets that progressive turn. Big out of the lip, rotation, bringing it down the line, and then a layback hack to finish off, and then the flex. Wow, again, comparison-wise, I mean, uh, they're different styles of waves, but I mean, the progressive element from Felipe on the outside section, the beautiful arcing car, but, but that wave was kind of turned out the channel a little bit, so it wasn't as steep on the face as we saw from Ethan Ewing, but this turn here, just beautiful, up and over, the nose pick, and he comes out so clean. It's like, you to get in your board off balance, no, no worries for him. His footwork, impeccable. Be able to get back on his board and go straight into another car. He was actually readjusting his feet before he'd actually even set the line back on the board again. And, you know, that's just, it's instinctual for him. Yeah. It's not something that you can, you can really practice too much. Or, Jump rope, or, or, maybe. Yeah, well, <laughs> maybe. So, Rich, I was, I was talking about, you know, the endurance and fatigue that may be happening with yeah. Ethan Ewing at this moment. He's ridden 14 waves so far today. Talk about the slash here. Ethan Ewing with a couple of slashes of his own, and we come to the end of Ethan's ride. Again, an incredible exchange, Rich. It's so much variety, Pete. Yeah, well, look at it. I mean, again, back out to the car. The release comes out of it, no worries, into another beautiful section. Little a different angle in the approach, and again, a big layback snap to finish, and somehow, was able to climb that white water. High and low thrown out. They average the next three together. And it is a map. I mean, they easily could say, you know, hey, Ethan Ewing has been, you know, could be almost winning this heat. But I mean, it's literally separated by a half a point. Yeah, there's nothing in it. But look at the titles. They're huge. <laughs> those half a points, Rich, sneak up on you because look at the need for Ethan Ewing. Felipe Toledo with priority is going to let Ethan Ewing go. Ethan needs a 9.24. Double E. Big slash there. No section to follow, however. There was a point and a half difference for Felipe over Ethan Ewing, but that's it. We're all invested in this because we love good surfing and we love the comparisons that are happening. That was weird. Yeah, he oh, just so closed it out. Okay, got it. There you go. <laughs> so, he, yeah, he had a priority. He had the lead. He just closed out the heat. Look at those numbers, though, for both surfers. Both surfers going excellent in this one. It's epic. That is what we are here for in the title match, to see this style and this approach of surfing. And we still get to see another heat. Felipe Toledo with a chance to go back to back with his world titles. He won the first battle, and we were talking about eights and nines throughout that entire matchup. Um, I, I love the moment where Griffin and Ethan paddled out. The crowd up there was so vocal, and it was so cool. They just went absolutely nuts. And I even asked Griffin, I was like, how did you block everyone out? Like, I, for me personally, I would have melted. That infamous seaweed monster yeah. out there just grabbed him. But. <laughs> that might free him up without priority. He's one of the most dangerous on tour. Toledo now. Springy little foam climb.
Sets that rail, full roundhouse with the rebound. Back out in the open face for a big hook. He's got a cool little inside track, loves the punt. Tail whip reverse and pulls it to get things started. That final maneuver was really nice. You can see just gliding into it here. Comes around this first section, a little foam climb. And then the big wrapping roundhouse gets nice and high on the rebound. Out on the open face again. A carve, and right here, we knew his intention. It was always going to go to the air. And uh, a funky little 360 rotation there. That would have been anyone's highlight on Instagram. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And he was just like, yeah, I'll throw this one away. <laughs> <laughs> well, any big points from you, Mick, on this ring? Uh, to me, it looked like he was just he was just getting the legs moving. Um, they've been sitting for a long time. Um, the nerves. This is this is a point where, you know, he's, he's one up. And so a lot of emotion builds up. The pressure builds up. But um, the way these guys are surfing right now, yeah, I doubt this five's even going to play. Oh, look play. out. Felipe setting up to the left now. Free to roam under priority. Coming off a of 5 one, seven. Looks like he wants to ramp up on the left. Throws just a quiet little reverse. Really didn't want to land that. He just threw that one away. A completely different story here in match number two. Wave stop to kick it off. Veneris Felipe Toledo in motion. So cool on that wrapping cutback. How connected he is. Such a sharp blade on that wrapping cutback. No mistakes through that carving work. Another look here to see what he accomplished, Mick. Yeah, it was sort of, Ethan had a look at it and then pulled back, but it had like a lot of ribs in the face, but Philippe just goes through them with sharp knives. Uh, it was a solid wave. In the, in the context of where the heat is at right now, with nine minutes, like it might not be the biggest score on the, on you know of the day, but it's a solid backup. Now he's now he's you know into the 11 point range, and uh, Ethan's going to need two waves. As we see him shut it down, so looking to get another score with his 517. Ethan Ewing has to get started. He loves that controlled carve to tail release. Controls it on the second one and hops out. I love the different variety that he puts on those carves. Ones where he just lets go of all of his speed and some where he keeps it into a second maneuver and a combination. It feels like he can just be really spontaneous with that decision. What did you see here, Mick? Yeah, look, it was nice. He's He sort of knows he has to get going. and you know, I would have loved to have seen him finish this way, yeah, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, just, just to put a score on the board. 5.30 to go. Important moment for Ethan Ewing. Trying to force a third matchup flowing down the line. Snaps over the roof, out in front, thin ditch on that one. Let's see him finish this one out. Ewing stays on his feet. He came from behind in a lot of the maneuvers here. So watch this first turn, projects up and over this foam section, starts to accelerate, comes from behind. Drifting snap, and again, sort of a tail drift snap, getting the fins free, and then a third one. So I think it was perhaps on that last one, or second to last one is where that board's maybe buckled. It's there. So much torque in between the, uh, the the two feet there. It's a real pressure point. Look at the size of the kid. <laughs> yeah, he's wow. got some thighs on him. Are you kidding me? That was radical. Yeah, trying to pick the turn that actually caused the crease. And there could have been a little quiet buckle in it from a heat before. Uh, right there, you could see the there. flex. Yeah. You could see the board flex there. And, uh, you know, at this level, these guys can feel it go underneath their feet and really, you know, if he tried to ride this board. Looks like he's feeling a crease on his board. Throwing the wrap in the pocket is Toledo. Oh. One of the fastest guys on the planet is going to shut this one down again. Ah, and there it is. Letting up. out the roar, looking at his family on the beach. His wife's there, saw his dad. I think every Toledo came from Ubatuba. And while Ewing was changing out his board, uh, Felipe did this, Mick. Yeah, look, this turn here, he's like, oh, look at that. Stabs it. So much torque in those. Like, he just whips it so hard. He's got this rotation that's... It's, oh. The change of direction is so acute here. Just jams it right there. Just laying that back arm into it. That's allowing, it, allowing him to pivot so tightly. And then straight back up into the lip again. A lot of expression and flair, too, in the upper body. The best of variety on tour go to a third deciding heat just for surf fans down here on the beach and all over the globe. These two have been unstoppable today. 
Ewing, against all odds, just to be here from fracturing his L3 and L4 in Tahiti. He's up now. Quick whip there, under priority. Deep on that one, he's getting out underneath the white water. Ewing still chasing a 6.6, .6, and the Brazilians are starting to celebrate. Uh, he, he's been brilliant from start to finish. Um, you know, he's had the wins, and it looks like he's going to be crowned world champion again. In back to back seasons, Felipe Toledo is your world champion. World number one, completing his year from start to finish. Lights out in the first heat with Ethan Ewing, turning in some of the best performance surfing we've seen all year, and just such a well-deserved champion in back-to-back -back years. This is the era of Felipe Toledo. The title stays in Brazil, and hats off to Ethan Ewing against all odds just to be here. Turns in his best year to date. So impressed me.